That is a next gen intro for a next gen of Xbox. That's right, everybody. Welcome back. We are the X1 Bros. This is your positive gaming and Xbox community. This is podcast number 336. As always, I am joined by the bros, the X1 Bros. First and foremost, it's Mr. McSpicy. Hello. Second, it's Jordan the Man. Hello. And last but not least, I am X1. Welcome to today's show. It's been a fantastic week. I like the new intro, baby. I do. I, it's, a, uh, it's very good. We've got a new intro. It's, in, it's the next gen. With the next gen, we need next gen intros. Yeah, why not? I mean, and why not? And there, and there we do you go. know the last time we changed the uh, the intro to the show and everything was in 2016? Woo! So it's four been years. four years since we've Woo! freshened up a bit. We've graduated. Does does that make us a next gen podcast? We're now we're officially a next gen podcast. We are, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. an NG. That's right, guys. We <laughs> are we are just a few uh, NG plus. We are just a few days away. And before we jump in and talk about all the hype around the Xbox Series X and Series S, I do want to review. It is a new month, which means last month our game club game of the month is over. It was Doom Eternal. Ooh, fantastic game, amazing game, beautiful game, smooth as butter. That game is going to be a joy to play. On these next gen consoles, because we're we're up in everything. Yeah, up in everything. Yeah. But our new game club game of the month, for those of you that don't know, game club game of the month, we all play as a community a game together, and we discuss it over in Discord. We have a game club uh, game of the month channel, so make sure you go over and join us in uh, in Discord and check us out there. But our game club game of the month this month. I'm excited for it. Ready for this? Can yeah. I get a drum roll? Do we have like a drum roll here? Some excitement? Oh, some I excitement? haven't pulled that stuff up yeah. in a while, but I think yeah, we I just we do. gotta gotta get some excitement. Andrew Jacobs, by the way, a little something for the new intro. Thank you very much for this for the super chat. Andrew Jacobs, appreciate it. Dude, I can't find. That's anything. okay. That's okay. I it's a, this, I'll create my own excitement and hype here using the timber of my voice. What? Ladies, you do the bulls, ladies and gentlemen. Oh wait, what is this? Did you get it? Did you get yeah, it? He, he went to page two. Oh. Uh, here we go. Drum roll. Oh. Oh oh my gosh, I had one. (laughs) This month's Game Club Game of the Month, ladies and gentlemen, is the one and only AC Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Yay! Valhalla! Yes. Oh, wow. Very excited. So come and join us, everybody. We usually try to do a Game Pass game, but we figure... I mean, who's who's not going to be playing? Yeah, who's Valhalla? not excited for this? No, one? I'm super stoked, yeah. super excited. Cannot wait. Go big or go home, you know. And since I'm in charge, I get to pick the game, and that's the game that I picked. So screw everyone. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, I'm very excited for it. Uh, Valhalla actually had a lot of gameplay this week come out yep. that we're probably yep. dive into a little bit later, but it looks super good. I cannot wait on the next generation of consoles. Here they come now. A lot of people, some people, in fact, we did a poll in our pre-show. Quite a few people have yet to have been able to pre-order or pick up an Xbox Series X or Series S. I myself am super nervous because it says arriving. We ordered ours from the Microsoft site. I was able to get it. However, it has yet to say be shipped, and it's and you got an email, Jordan. Yeah, no, mine has been shipped. Mine is in Ontario, California, mine right has now. Not been shipped. It's literally in Ontario, California. Mine has yet to be shipped, and I get screwed with online orders all the time. I am in driving distance of my box. He is, and he oh. is. That is, he is in driving distance of his oh box. Oh my gosh, that's hot. Yeah. Some people, if if you pre-ordered it from Walmart, you've already got it. I know. We yeah. have some people yeah, in chat who already have theirs. Uh, for those of you who, rem- if you remember, on the day of pre-orders. Amazon went up, it went down, and then it went up again. You got in on that second time it went up, the that Xbox Series X, the second up for the Xbox Series X, and it looks like it might be coming through for you. Yeah, because I I mean, it was a crapshoot. And th- this bugs me with Amazon. Because Let it out, man. What? Let it out. Let okay. it out. Okay. Let, Let it out. Yeah. Yeah. Let it out. I'm, I'm, Therapy time. There. Okay. I don't know how they can legally do this. They can sell something that they don't have and then tell me a week later that they don't have it. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, that's a good point. You know, how can they do that? Yeah. But apparently they did have it. They did have it. So maybe they fixed that issue. I don't have a tracking number yet, but it does say that it has been, it has gone from, you're probably not going to get it to, this has been ordered. It It says expected delivery, It might be there on Tuesday. Yeah, it has an expected (laughs) delivery date. So I assume I have a box with my name on it somewhere in the ether of Amazon. Unless they are dumb and just put it site-wide to anybody who had a quote-unquote pre-order. And see, they've done that before. <laughs> yeah, I so, know. <laughs> uh, but, so you never uh, know. So, but you, I don't know. I was I was expecting not to get mine, yeah. but this is like happy news. You were expecting to get yours, and we have kind of like the and same it's message. Giant, it's just a giant question mark. Now, it, do, it has been paid. Well, it's there's a receipt. There's an order number. There's an expected ar- arrival delivery date. Mm-hmm. 
There is no tracking number. While everyone else has a tracking yeah, number, that's well, the I have yet to get and a tracking. And what we're talking number. about, mine has actually officially been paid for, right? It's officially yeah. gone through. Yeah. Mine is yet so. to. So maybe it's you have a tracking number. You don't. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. So I'm very nervous. Very very nervous. Uh, for those who weren't able to get a Series X, let's answer the question: How do I get a Series X? Let's pretend. Worst case scenario, neither of ours come through. We've got backup plans. Spicy. Oh yeah, strategy. I got so for getting the Series X. David, was it Day two of. weeks ago? You gave this strategy. Yes. I think it was two yeah. weeks ago on our show. You said <laughs> find an old person and go to Costco because Costco didn't do pre-orders, so they're gonna have a lot in stock. Yeah, right. On what we're or some in stock. What we're thinking and why an old person works. Um, and bless, bless you, old people. We love you. Uh, Let's say senior citizens. Okay, am I, I'm saying the wrong thing, right? <laughs> no, I mean, I, I senior can. citizens. We love you very much. You have paved the way for a great world for us. So thank you. They've That's lived it. a full life. So they've, lived, they've lived full <laughs> lives. <laughs> um, and the, the best part about senior citizens at this point in my life right now is they have an hour of power they just do. to themselves in Costco. Yeah, Costco power hour. So I actually, it was yesterday, my mother in law, and I love her very much, she is awesome. She called me and said, I'm on standby if you need it. So if I don't get it, I'm going to be uh, uh, driving uh, driving her up to the parking lot of Costco and unlocking the doors and just keeping the car engine running like a, <laughs> go, like a go, robbery. Go, 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 go. <laughs> and she's, she's, she's on board. She's going to go find me an Xbox and buy it. Dude, you know, so. super cool. Blake Densley in chat says, I have a local store that I know has three in stock to sell day one. I'm going to be there at 5 a.m., very nice, Blake. Uh, Dieter Pinklage writes in, and he does say, good evening, Melsack. Good evening, Dieter. Yeah, he says, uh, I have Amazon alerts on, and I'm ready with wallet in hand, but I'd like to throw it to you guys. I know Spicy has addressed hitting up Costco with a senior citizen hey, last week. Yeah, I just did. Yeah. Which is a killer strat for brick and mortar. But as far as getting a Series X online, Dieter wants to know, do you have any strategies for putting yourself in a position to acquire one of these sexy machines as soon as possible? possible jordan online strategies jordan i think was the most successful of the three of us he yeah. like got in first yeah online strategy when they release we do know walmart's opening them up online best buy's opening them up online what are the uh, strategies for to ensure online success i have no idea <laughs> <laughs> that's our expert yeah, in the field right no. there basically what true. i did is my theory i mean at one point i was at like middle eastern sites yeah, he was. He was, going yeah, I was, I was, yeah, I was. He was in the dark, I was in the dark web. The dark man. corners of the web. Incognito <laughs> mode doesn't save you there. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was intense. No, what I did is I figured that this is so if you think of like internet, internet's just like a door, right? It has to let one person through at a time, just like a real door, right? At a when brick you, and mortar yeah, yeah, store, yeah. right? That's how the internet works. So this is my thought. On Black Friday, you always turn on the news, and there's always that swarm of people that all get stuck in and the door. And they start, yeah, they start punching each other, yeah. and it's crazy. And then all of a sudden, at the bottom of the, the screen, you always see like some guy just kind of sneak in. You know what I mean? <laughs> so just, my, he just wanders He's kind of, woo, he misses that first wave. So what I did is once it hit 9 o'clock or whatever time it was for us, a.m., yeah. 9 a.m. It was 9 a.m. for us, yeah. I counted to 15. I said, you got to let that 15-second wave. You, let, you can't you know, hit people. that. Smash the yeah. door. Or no, no, no I, think, I think I counted to 10. I was like, one, all the way to 10. And then I hit it, and I actually was able to get mine. So that's my strategy. That's let the first wave of people go in, <laughs> get all stuck at the virtual doors, and then you just kind of slip in. That actually, <laughs> but it worked. Is not bad. It did I, work. He like instantly got it. I know if you're like work for an internet company, and you're like Jordan. It doesn't work that way because it's all. But I'm telling you, man, it worked for me, and Dude. I do have a tracking number for mine. So this and is a proven it's theory. Been, it's been shipped proven, for him. Yeah, <laughs> it's in Ontario, California. It has not been shipped for me. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was really. It was like a stupid thought, but I was like, you know what? I was in my head. It's I was risky. Like, That's I was a bold like, move. I was that like, is. you know what? If if I were at like Target, I would wait for that first wave to trample each other, and I just cut right in. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I did the same thing virtually. The virtual, just walk on through. Yeah, <laughs> that was a bold well, move. and remember, David. David was in chat with me, and he started swearing and cussing. I was, I was like, David, I got mine. You're like, like, I got through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, bad. Yeah. That was the most stressful. Yeah. 15 to 20 minutes of my life. Like, it well, see, genuinely was. It was a stressful 20 minutes of you. It was a stressful hour and a half for me. Yeah. And then I still don't know. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, you're still like, oh, I don't know. Uh, it's like a, it's like that st- the stages of whatever, you know, your excitement and you, you the the fear, yeah. then the denial, yeah, then the acceptance. You went through the twelve steps. The twelve <laughs> steps. <laughs> That's exactly. And the acceptance was, well, if I get it, I get it. If not, yeah. I'll wait till a good TV comes out, then I'll get it with <laughs> yeah. it. That was where I was at a week ago. Well, what's S- funny is at one point we uh, we have some friends and family in the military, and we were calling them up because they have access to certain stores. That oh yeah, we're citizens. all. Oh, yeah. We went everybody. everywhere. Yeah. Well, if you remember, I got in trouble and I was like sneaking in through back in to chat with you guys from the, co- from, like, oh, yeah, the closet. Yeah. You're like, guys, you remember, guys, guys uh, did we get in here? Are we, are we, are are we still good? Are we good? Are we good? Are What's here? going on here? So, uh, anyways, dear Piglet, great question. If you're going, if you're going uh, online, good luck to you, sir. Yeah, just so you know, that's that's it. Probably won't work, but that was in my head. I was like, you know what? That's my theory. Because if you think about it, the internet works the same way. It's just like a door. It has to let one person in at a time. Yeah. But if everybody goes through the door at once, that's what slows the websites down, yeah, right? So just come. Just so you just got to sneak in the back sneak door. In, sneak in. <laughs> that's ca- so funny. Just walk in casually after the initial trample. And all I can say is I have one. He does. So, yeah. oh, it, he does. I mean, so drop the mic whether it works or not, I have one. <laughs> yeah, he, your data pool is one, and it's a one to one ratio. It's a hundred percent. It's a one hundred percent success rate. Uh, Great question, Dieter. Thank you very much. It's a very exciting week. I'm so. Oh, I can't wait. Tuesday. Tuesday. Now I'm hoping. Because mine is just sitting there. I'm hoping I get it Monday. I want to be one of those lucky guys. You remember with like the Project yeah. Scorpio and then even some big games, people sometimes get them day a day early. Oh yeah. It might be. It might be it's doable. <sighs> Spicy with Amazon might get his a day early too, if if that's true. I think that's no longer the case anymore because we're a hub. Yeah. Like <laughs> When so I can, they can order con- a so belt can- and have it here six hours later. <laughs> yeah, so they can control it. Yeah, they can control it. Well, what's better. funny is mine has this big thing in red letters that says the s- the seller specifically said not to give it to you till Tuesday. Oh, that's And it was like, oh, dang it. Yeah. But uh, do you think they really listened to that? They, if they're sending out those, they're trying to, they know that Walmart sent some out early. So they're going to be like, well, people are going to get mad well, at us. When Walmart's it its own shipping, whereas this is through FedEx, and FedEx doesn't want to lose that contract, I'm sure, right? So, like, yeah. I think this contract. is just a cover, uh, it's a CYA, cover your ass. Yeah. yeah. You know, Walmart no. doesn't care about contracts. They just, <laughs> well, because well, Walmart handles its own shipping, right? Yeah. So. Uh, you know what I am doing, though? So I have. Off of work. I've already got it off. I have Tuesday off work and I have Wednesday off work. Okay. You know? I like that. I'm actually going to sit on the porch all day because those horrors. <laughs> no, no. I don't have a ring doorbell yet. You know That's what I mean? That's true. Yeah. It's so true. those horror stories, I bet you those people. And your port, your front porch is kind of like obvious from the sidewalk. Yeah. Yeah, I you know you see you always see the YouTube videos of the people like coming and stealing packages, and then you see the fake packages that like blow, blow up. up. Those hilarious. are those are good ones. Uh, no, I'm I'm like worried because you got to think those. Wait, fake packages that blow up. Have Haven't you never you seen, seen those? those? They set them up. They set them like up a on terrorist p- attack. No, they set them up. It blows <laughs> it's up. It's hilarious. It like, blows up yeah. glitter. It blows up oh, glitter like paint. glitter boxes. And, yeah. Oh, I was like. And one guy, one guy put a recording in that says, "We have notified the police. They are on their way." <laughs> okay, I uh, have seen those. Yeah. I thought you guys were like, and then it explodes, <laughs> and it's so funny. I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> this is a oh, dark. Yeah, yeah don't steal our packages, yeah. man. <laughs> you will blow your ass up. <laughs> Especially this one. Especially yeah, if it's the an uh, Xbox. sorry to clarify the glitter bomb packages. I was like, right? this this went dark. This no, is went real it's dark. It's not. It's not that I live in a bad neighborhood or anything, right? I'm just saying, you you know, like those people. You always see them on camera. The people oh, walking paranoia. by, they, they still you know. This is one package. I don't want them to steal. Like yeah, they steal yeah. my clothes that I order. I really don't care. Yeah, I don't care. But this yeah. package, this is a well, package I, that you want. Yeah. I hate the. I always hate the ones that with the packages that I'm excited for, and then you're not there for like 15 minutes. <laughs> And then you see the dreaded note from UPS or whatever oh, that says, oh, yeah. you now, I'll be back in three days. If you're not here, I'm going to send it back or oh, come to the warehouse. So annoying. I hate so that annoying. stuff. Yeah. And I'm like, I want I would my like TV. some sort of, I mean, Amazon has that like keyless. You can, they can like open your door. And if I had like a mudroom in my front door where it was like two doors, I would totally do that where you give them access and they can drop the package off inside your house and you have a camera on them. But why not? Have a lockbox in your on your front. Por- I would pay for like a heavy duty lockbox on my front porch that all my packages kind of like from the uh, the lockers at Disneyland. Exactly. You, know? you can actually actually that's a good point. They do now have the like pickup points for Amazon where they're in lockboxes and you can go pick them up. I think actually our grocery store right over here is one of them. Yeah, oh, but really? that's not a bad uh, which is not a bad way to go. Yeah, I'd rather sit on my porch. I then I can order DoorDash too, and they can bring <laughs> it right up to me. You know, uh, it's funner. Yeah, I mean, that is a funner way to go. I do have a I do have a rant. That I'd like to go on here before we jump over to the news that I just thought of and it reminded me of. I played Red Dead Redemption online. Oh, yeah. yeah too. I jumped back in. I was like, hey, let's jump back in. Let's see what it is. That game is dead to me. 
Not the game. Red Dead the campaign, but Red Dead Online is dead to me. Why? What happened? They freaking pissed me. In fact, I unloaded. I, I was so pissed. I called Jordan yeah. and unloaded. And I think it was stupid, too. They, so I'm jumping in. I'm seeing like, okay, Halloween event. Okay, we got this. Here's this new like trade that you can do, the Naturist trade. And they jump you in. You do the story. The story's really good, right? And then it's like, meet me over here and do it. And I go meet him over there. No, they have the battle pass that you can pay for. Okay, fine. Uh-huh. But then for me to even unlock their stupid, thi- I've got to pay money again. Like I can't just do the nature. I've got to pay money. Like they nickel and dime you mm-hmm. all over the place. Grand Theft Auto doesn't necessarily do that, but Red Dead Redemption Online for what Red Dead Online for whatever reason decides to nickel and dime the crap out of you, and I'm done. Like I am done. If you want Red Dead Online, will never be GTA Online. Number one, it's just not as good right now. Like, you just don't have as much to do. And number two, when you're slowly rolling out new things to do and you make me pay for every single thing, I would gladly pay for your battle pass. I have paid for your battle pass in the past, but I'm not paying for your battle pass and your stupid new uh, job to do, right? Like They should at least they, include it. You know, like... Yeah. Well, that's the thing. By doing both, they have the impression of nickel and diming. That's exactly well, yeah, that's and, what I'm and saying. And in yeah, reality, I'm sure that it. if I just bought the battle pass, I would get enough gold in order to, you know, a couple levels in in order to get the thing. But it's stupid. It is so, so stupid. No. That's right. That the end of my rant. That's okay. No, it makes sense. Like, you know who doesn't nickel and dime you? And but but kind of takes advantage of people in a worse way, but I would rather have Reddit Online follow their model, Genshin Impact. Like well, I would rather have I would rather Reddit Online be Genshin Impact. Let, well, let, it, hold it's on, seriously, hold on. Well, it's 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 player friendly pay to win. Yeah, I, I don't know how to like it's, it's so friend, confusing. Genshin but, Impact is at least it's like consumer friendly pay to win me with a lollipop. But to you get need, into their van. You need to get a burner phone and a <laughs> burner PC I don't mind. just to play it without the Chinese g- stealing all your give, information. Rockstar <laughs> should just give Red Dead Online over to the Chinese so they can put in all their <laughs> bulletware and spyware would and, rather. and let me play the game for free while stealing my information <laughs> rather than nickel and diming the crap out of me. Now that is a bold statement. Yes. You would much rather have that happen yes. than be nickel and dimed. Amen. All the way. I would rather be enticed by the Pied Piper than to be nickel and dimed. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't blame you. Do you think we have any listeners in China? Uh, I'm sure we have some. Yeah, I think actually on our little map that it shows up, I think like it's like kind of lit up over yeah. there a little bit. I would say. I mean, it's a big country. Yeah. Billions <laughs> it, of people. Yeah, at least billions, one. It's definitely a big country. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it's almost a continent at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Red Dead. <laughs> Red Dead. <laughs> Red Dead, though. Pretty much they own a lot of that. <laughs> Can you name another game that does that to you? That that bends you over? That be- <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's. <laughs> no, no. In uh, that way, like, 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 I just, yeah. I want to like that game. I want to like Red Dead Online. I put lots of hours in Red Dead Online. It's never lived up to its, it's never lived. It's, <laughs> I almost have quarters. <laughs> it's never lived up to its expectation. It's never lived up to the hype. It's never lived up to GTA Online. And when you are charging me for everything under the sun there, just to even play, you're, you kill you it's kill any multiple momentum. charges. It's not just charges because battle passes are, I mean, it, that's okay. But why isn't this included in the battle pass? Yeah, yeah. I don't understand yeah. that. You're not doing, anyways, whatever. I don't Moving have. on. <laughs> yeah, I would much rather have all my data and contact information and social security numbers be, be sent public. to the Chinese. Be public, yeah. And have what rock stars do it to me. At least I'm having fun. Yeah. <laughs> at least they're at least at least when the chi- when Genshin Impact's doing it to me, they're doing it to me right. Yeah. <laughs> at least when they screw you, you get a kiss after. Yeah, you know? that's right. Red, you actually yeah, you do. <laughs> Red Dead just doing it wrong. Yeah. Well, that brings us to no, uh, uh, that's good. That's to the good. news, the news portion of our show. So. Oh. That's quiet. Jordan, Sorry, tell us good. what is happening in the world that is Xbox so there's this not week. a super ton going on. <laughs> we're getting uh, ready. Because we're just getting ready. So I, I tried to keep it mostly to the new stuff that's coming out. But first things first, got to mention it because it is it is fun. Ooh. The new season of Apex just came out. That's right. Uh, season. Apex Season 7. We got the new hero. We got the new map. I've played a couple rounds. It's fun. I like it. Did you set up a club? Yes, I did. We ha- Oh, yeah. We do have an official club. It's called the X1 Bros. There you go. It's the official X, club. Capital X, capital or B. lowercase O and then capital B. Right? Yeah, so X, capital X, O-N-E, 
and then capital B. Oh, R-O-A. and oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So X one bros. Oh, but okay. it's a capital X and a capital B. Okay. It should just come up no matter how you spell it. But <laughs> <laughs> okay. But anyway, yeah. So that is available. The new season is really fun. I like the new map. First impressions are really good. The cars, the oh, vehicles. How do the vehicles work? And we had, we had debated so, this last week. So the vehicles. Now this is still very early, right? I I kind of want to see what people start to do with the vehicles because if you think this is the first time they had vehicles, people aren't really used to them. For one, they kind of spawn in odd locations, so sometimes it's difficult to get to them depending on where you land. Okay. And they are the loudest things I've ever heard in my <laughs> life. Like you're like, oh, a vehicle's coming from across the map. Like you know when they're coming, right? And I don't think, and I, so as of right now, I don't think they're overpowered. Because, one, they're loud as crap. Okay. And the way the map is, is there's a lot of twists and turns, and positioning is everything in that game. That vehicle can't necessarily just... I mean, it maneuvers well, and it can turn pretty good, but if you're in, like, a dense location, the vehicle's not good. You know what I mean? Because, like, it's turning in and out of buildings and stuff like that. People are looking down at it. Like, it's very easy to kill, in a firefight. You're kind of exposed is what you're saying, right? In the vehicle, I feel like you are. Now, given I've only ever fought the... I've not really driven in the vehicle other than in the practice mode, uh, but in the vehicles I fought against, we were in dense areas, and it was really easy to take the vehicle out. One, because I don't think the players... Necess- I mean, they have a good range of motion, if not full range of motion on the vehicles, but I think it's harder to shoot from the vehicles than it is to shoot at the vehicle. Okay. Yeah. And the vehicles aren't like these crazy tanks you yeah. know what i mean if you throw an arc star at it it basically slows it down and then you just light it up yeah right so what i'm waiting for is the really good players to start utilizing them especially with player abilities and stuff like that right sure so i mean it's hard to say how the vehicles are going to t- pan out from the first couple days but as of right now it was kind of like free kills almost Gotcha. You know okay. what I mean? But now, again, I didn't fight a vehicle in an open area, right? So so maybe in an open area they're a little bit better, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, it was fun driving around. It feels like the Warthog. Uh-huh. So if you've ever uh, driven the Warthog in Halo, that's how the controls and how it feels. But uh, it's, uh, yeah, no, the new season is great. The new map is incredibly fun. I love the color palette of the new map. It's bright. I think, I think they've... I think they're kind of almost at their peak of map design, in my opinion. They've they've vaulted Kings Canyon, okay. and I think the reason they vaulted Kings Canyon is because I don't necessarily think Kings Canyon is designed for all those hero abilities, right? Okay. Whereas I feel I like World's Edge and this map are designed with all the heroes in mind. Okay, you know what I, I mean? Especially new ones, new ones included, right? Yeah. So, but anyway, it's really fun. I like it a lot. Well, that's good to know. There you go. If you're so, if you're into Apex or have been away from Apex for a while and want to jump in, jump in and check out season the new season of Apex. Yeah. And then uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, the developers oh, came out. Can, and we they bring, did. can we bring this up on yeah. the screen? Yeah, I got it. So one. it's the on it. Assassin's Creed Valhalla gameplay walkthrough on the Xbox Series X. And let me tell you one thing. This game on the Series X will be running at 4K 60 frames. Ooh, Not only that, the game looks phenomenal. It looks like, awesome. The fidelity, the graphics, the it just it looks great. Uh, fourth this, one down. This is this yeah, all. Perfect. This is. I have not been in an Assassin's Creed game since Black Flag. I'm very, very excited for mm-hmm. this. Very excited. It's the game just looks good. It really if, does. If you haven't seen it, it's about. I think it's like a seven minute video. It's on YouTube. It's from the Xbox channel. It's all Xbox Series X gameplay. It's a full gameplay walkthrough. Um, they explain different features like rating, the town system. They talk more about the town system, which is stuff we kind of already know. The town is basically going to be your hub. You're going to be able to upgrade buildings oh. and get things like the blacksmith. I you know, yeah, the it's epic. It's epic. Oh, look how beautiful it looks too. It looks oh, it gorgeous. Looks good. So, 60 frames, 4K. It's going to look good. But the I'm really excited for the town section or the or the hub, the base, the the, the Why village, that? right? Well, it's, I just like the idea of like you can upgrade this building to be the blacksmith and then you can upgrade the blacksmith and when you do this, he gives you that, you get different things, right? You can upgrade the tattoo parlor and then you can customize your character. You can even upgrade scenery. You want to put just like a well somewhere? You can put it there. Right? You can make your town look really nice. I like base building is what I'm saying. So I'm really yeah. excited for this feature. It looks really fun. One thing that they went over too, I liked, is like their dice game that they have. Oh that yeah, looks, it, yeah, it's like 
you know how Witcher, you know, Witcher has Gwen, Gwen, like, yeah. That's kind of what they've implemented here in, <laughs> with, but it's like this cool dice game. It's so if you cool. guys see here in the video, he is in the settlement cosmetic menu, and he is just he just wants to put a well right there, a stone well, just make it look good, you know. Yeah. But uh, no, the game looks fantastic. I'm really excited. This game comes out on Tuesday. Dropping it will be optimized off. for Series X. And don't worry if you've already bought it. It does have smart delivery, so it'll it's a free upgrade to the new next generation. Yeah, if you're not planning on upgrading as well, I mean, if you're just staying with the Xbox One, it's obviously going to be available there, so don't get confused. This is across all platforms. Yeah, so. and I have seen gameplay on the regular Xbox, and it does actually still look really good. Oh, yeah. Um, because, I mean, games just look good nowadays, but on the Xbox Series X, it does look better. It looks really yeah, good. Yeah, it looks a lot better. Very so good. Before very we fun. jump over to the next story, I do want to just say, give a shout-out to Rose City Gamer. Thank you very much for the super chat. He says, is someone having a party in the back? Because I know it's all business in the front. For those of you who are listening, to the podcast, Mr. McSpicy has an f- official mullet. It's yep. official. Yep, I and was with a mullet, good. and it's looking <laughs> good. I got my curly locks now. Dude, it's 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 legit. Thank you for pointing that out, David. Yeah. I, I'm actually real proud of this. This is a it's a statement. You know, it is. A it is. A it's statement. a power move. It is a power move. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh. When I so my hair was really long. Everybody, I have my COVID hair or had it, and uh, I'll tell you the story. Go ahead. Actually. Yeah. Um, uh, and I went in to get a haircut, and my barber, Barber Blake, good friend of the podcast, he's like, all right, so let's get your mullet going. I'm like, mullet? And he's all, why else would you come in here? You know, kind of, <laughs> what are you thinking? And so I was like, okay, let me text my wife. And she was the one, she was like, go for it. Go get for it. Her. And she's like, now do a mustache. She was <laughs> like, like, I used to date a guy with a mustache and a mullet. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, so, yeah, so that's what this is. This is, uh, I was not expecting to like it as much as I like it. Dude, it's because cool. Because when I walk into a room, I feel great. It's cool. People, people are like, there's a cool dude. That's what it means. That's what a mullet is. Yeah. I actually really like this. So, And I have kind of curly hair, so it's like... Uh, I, don't yeah, know. I don't think it would look good on me. I think I'd look like Joe Dirt. Hey, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Jordan would. Jordan could pull it off good. He's got thick, luscious hair. <laughs> yeah, so uh, so yeah, so yeah. maybe I'll have a mustache soon, too, you know? There you go. <laughs> Depends on how it goes. Depends so, on how it, go. is, it is November. November. You know what November means? Means more free games. More free games. So, kind games of. with gold, kind of. <laughs> it actually is a <laughs> kind of. Yeah. It's know? a kind of. <laughs> the guy, I mean, you pay for a subscription. That gives you, yeah. Anyway. Uh, November, we have four new games for Games with Gold. One of them is Origami Shadow Edition, available right now, November 1st. You have Swim Sanity, also available, or the, sorry, Swim Sanity is available on November 16th. Swim Sanity sounds awesome. And then we have our back uh, backward compatibility games. You have Full Spectrum Warrior, available November 1st, which is already available now. And then for the Lego fans, we oh. have Lego Indiana Jones, available oh, yes. on November 16th, which is very cool. And then, of course... I just wanted to do this because it's just a quick list, but next week, the Series X is launching. It's dropping. And on launch day, we are going to have a good handful of games that will be fully optimized and ready for the Xbox Series X. 30 to be precise. Are you going to name the games then? I was going to go through, yeah, I was going to go through the list of them. One of them being Fortnite, which uh, we actually did a video on earlier this week. 4K60, we did do a video. Fortnite made a big deal about it. It looks like it's going to look good. Yeah, it's going to look good. uh, Fortnite on the Xbox Series X will be 4K60. Which is uh, fantastic. Other games that will be optimized for the Series X and Series S. Give me some highlights here. So let me give you the uh, let me give you some big ones. First of all, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, which is what we already yeah. talked about. Oh, Ori, Border Ori is right. Yeah, Ori is Borderlands friends. Three. Ooh, Borderlands Three is going to be a big one. And these all have smart delivery. So if you already own the game, you are you have you have you the upgrade. You don't need to do anything. Same with Fortnite. You don't need to do anything. Just this is a game I've not yet game. played, but I yeah. think we should play. It. It's called Cuisine Royale. Oh, okay. It's a battle royale game. It's going to be fully optimized for the the new systems. With food, kinda. So okay. what happens? The this game's thing is whatever you pick up, uh, like it appears on you. So if you pick up armor, that armor appears on you. But the armor is like pots and pans, and all this weird stuff. Oh, okay. like I saw some guy with like a toaster helmet. Oh, I like that. It looks crazy. It looks like a lot of fun. And then you have Dead by Daylight, another big one that people are excited for that people already have their hands on. I believe is Dirt Five. Dirt Five looks fantastic. It's looks getting really, really good reviews. Good. Mm-hmm. If you're into rally racing or racing simulation mm-hmm. rallies, dude, it looks it looks really good. Another one that looks really good. Ooh, tell that me. actually I might jump back into, even though I kind of got really mad at this game. Oh, Forza Horizon, oh, four. Yeah. yeah. Well, because so. I mean, Forza looks. They always look good. They always like are the pristine. Yeah. Right? yeah. The, the good stuff. So is so Horizon Forest is motorsport? No, not yet. 
Uh, no. No. Okay. Not I wonder yet, if so. the reason I bet you the new one will because be because the new one. Yeah, yeah, the new one will be. So. So and these and keep in mind, guys. There's there's other games coming out like Destiny. There's a lot of games that'll be fully optimized. These are just on November 10th. Day will one. be ready to go. Day right? one. So Destiny will be optimized, which is coming out November 10th. Yeah. But it'll be optimized, I believe, in December is when they're coming out with their patch. These are all sure. day one. Another big one that I've seen people already review and talk about is Gears Five. Oh. 120 frames. I have seen that as well. Yeah. Yes, I've actually watched the footage of that. It is so good. Ready for this? On Gears 5, and they made the developers made a big deal about this and talking about it and going over it, that on the PC version of Gear 5, you can go like ultimate settings. This is what is being played on the Series X is beyond ultimate. You don't even have the option on the PC. It's higher. It's higher than ultimate settings. Super cool. Very it's ultimate. Plus. So the best place to play it <laughs> is on the Series X. On the Series X. Another Gears game wow. that I'm incredibly excited for that will be here finally on the Xbox for those of you that didn't play it on the PC. Gears Tactics. The tacticals. A very uh, XCOM like game. Very fun game. Grounded. Another one that's going to be getting uh, optimized. I, this, I actually, I'm actually want to jump in this one well, because I, I was watching Grounded this week and it's like a, the new fish mission, like the, oh, the yeah, pod, yeah. the koi pod. Yeah, they added up. a new story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So well, I'm excited to actually jump into Grounded just to see what the updates are, like yeah. the the fidelity updates, the graphical updates, the the you know, all that good stuff. We also have a few other ones. We have King Oddball, Minotaur, Manifold Garden, and then we got the questionable one, the or sorry, what did it the controversy one, controversial NBA 2K21, that which is, will be ready and available. You just have to pay ten dollars. You just got to pay. You want to talk about nickel and dime? So unfortunately, <laughs> ready for this, and they have ads in that game. Yeah. No matter what. Oh my So God. unfortunately, yeah. so sorry, not every game on this list is smart delivery. Oh. Yeah. Let me rephrase that. Most of the games on this list are smart delivery. So NBA 2K21, unfortunately, you got to pay $10 extra for that one. Observer, and then back to the smart delivery ones, Ori and the Will of the Wisps, which Dude. I have seen this one at 120 frames, 120 and it does look smooth. 120 frames in that game. Ooh, baby. Which I actually had. I feel like when I played Ori and the Will of the Wisps, I did have like frame rate issues. Like it would chug. You know what okay. I mean? You could tell. So I'm excited yeah. to go and play this one again with a bigger with, engine. With like yeah, with with, with the raw v, power, yeah, with the V8. You know? <laughs> yeah. The V8. So the very first game the that 5 yeah, the very first game that I will be loading on my console that is optimized for Series X, Planet Coaster. Oh, that's right. You're very, very, yeah, very, very I mean, very can you very imagine that game at 120 <laughs> FPS? Dude, the amount of people you're going to be able to have in your theme park. <laughs> at one time. It's, it's going to be insane. Be crazy. Very excited. Sea of Thieves is also another one. Now, in chat, we were actually just talking about this before, and I want to say this to all you Sea of Thieves fans out there, because I think this might change the way PvP works in the uh, overworld, right? Yeah. So there has been... I. I I haven't confirmed it myself. It's just kind of rumors that people were talking about that they've heard from the internet in chat. We were talking about it before. They're saying that when you die and go to the Ferry of the Damned and then come back, the loads are like virtually instant. Oh, that's cool. So the only Whoa. thing, yeah. So can you imagine how this would mess with people? Like, I just killed that guy. Now he's back. <laughs> you know, the only thing that bottlenecks you is, you know how sometimes when you get on the Ferry of the Damned, you have to kind of wait so many seconds, right? Yeah. Now I want yeah I don't know if that's because the game's reloading for you or if it's just like a spawn timer but the loading parts where your screen goes black and then yeah. you come back they're saying is virtually instant that's pay cool. to win <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's cool another one that I think a lot of people will be excited for uh, is Tetris Effect oh uh, well, connect you mean or effect effect connected there Tetris you effect go connected. connected yeah that one looks well, cool that's basically yeah. Tetris ninety nine that they're yeah, Tetris to effect the Xbox. connected it's a very long title. So, and rounding out the list, we have War Thunder, War Hammer, uh, Watch Dogs Legion, uh, which is already available now. I'm excited <laughs> to play. I've been playing that game this week. I'm excited to play it on you the Series X because uh, I would, I can compare it firsthand. Absolutely. The differences. And then we have uh, WRC 9 World Rally Championship. Yes, Your Grace. And another one that I'm very excited for. Yakuza like a dragon. <laughs> oh, dude, we watched. The we need another Yakuza week. game. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> Hilarious. Yes, we do. There you go. That's the uh, that is the day one list. Of course, there's more games coming out, like of uh, games that are basically yeah. already out that will be upgraded mm -hmm. and optimized for the Series X and Series S. Now, you did mention Watchdog Legion. Watchdog's yeah. Legion. Let's talk about it. I want to get your first impressions. Yeah. Primarily, the big question on my mind with Watchdogs is the system of recruiting anyone in the mm -hmm. city or or not anyone necessarily but lots of people 
Is it gimmicky? Is it real? Is it fun? Tell me about your experience with Watch yeah. Dogs so far. So I didn't think I would say this because I, I like I wasn't going into Watch Dogs like super excited. I was like, ah, oh, it's just another Watch Dogs, right? Yeah. Uh, but I like it. Boom. Yeah. There no, you it's, go. It's, it's actually a pretty fun game. The I open, did. I did see you struggling to drive the double decker bus last night. I was tough. Yeah. <laughs> that was tough. That was tough. I ran a couple people over. But what what do you give me? What do you what, what do you like about it? Uh, no, I first I think the open world. Now uh, keep in mind, I'm I'm probably I played yesterday and then I played a little bit more today, so I'm I'm a few hours into the game. Enough for a first impression, right? I think the open world. I don't think it's the best open world game out there. I think it's a the start of the next generation of Ubisoft open world games. Okay. Uh, someone someone told me yesterday, and they kind of said it best. It feels like a Ubisoft open world game with enough iterations to keep you happy. Mm. You know what I mean? So it kind of it has that feel of a Ubisoft which makes me interested to see what Assassin's Creed is like next week, right? But uh it it feels like a Ubisoft open world game, but they do do a few things uh to not make it <laughs> <Doo-doo>. feel do <doo-doo. laughs> uh, to not make it feel like as super repetitive. Given like I said I'm only a few hours in, so as we keep doing these what? new zones and all like but what has been your favorite character and favorite ability that you've utilized so far? Um I have this pizza delivery guy Okay. He was actually my main character to start with, and the reason I picked him is because the first thing, because they don't, it's not character customization. They just give you like a list of twelve characters, and you just pick which one you want. Um, there are some people that scared me. There are some people that just didn't look like they they'd have your back. Okay, you know I can what see I mean. That, so yeah. I really, I really, anyway, when I scrolled over this guy, my initial thoughts were this guy is gonna deliver my pizza on time. Like, <laughs> and that's like, why, the, yeah, I was you like, like a punctual I, yeah. pizza guy. Like that guy, I looked at him. He looks just like a pizza delivery guy, and the way he was looking at me, he's gonna get it within thirty minutes or less. Like he's gonna hold <laughs> guaranteed, yeah, guaranteed. Guarantee. Like you're not and waiting. I was like, yeah, and I was or like, your well, money back. Like, yeah, that guy. So I, I felt like I could count on that guy. <laughs> so he was my first character, and then I, I think I've recruited a, a two others. I actually have a tough standard. Okay. I'm not just going to let anybody in. No, you got you it. You know what I mean? Yeah. But what I did, and actually what I like and what I think makes this more fun, because I was worried that system was going to be gimmicky, it's cool in the fact that there is certain missions that require different skill sets. Okay. So having someone within your team uh, that has those skill sets is useful. Sure. Right? And I, I like that because it's almost like Wasteland, right? Where I had my lock picker, I had my yeah. inventory guy, my computer guy, kind of like that, right? Uh, so that part's really cool, and what I did is I actually turned permadeath on, which I think makes it more fun because if I lose one of if one of those people dies, they're dead. That's cool. Yeah, and they're gone that forever. That pizza doesn't come on time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that guy's he's dead. out. He's out. And what's really cool about permadeath mode is if all your guys die, the game's over. So can you imagine? That is cool. So I actually am recruiting basically fodder. <laughs> I'm gonna Ten have fodder. Yeah, I'm gonna have a. I'm gonna have at least hey, four or five fodders just you ready down to go. The street, that guy looks like he'll die quick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting that guy for yeah. my cause. So, um, no, it's 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 fun. It's not the best open world game I've played, right? Like, I, it, it's not The Witcher or uh, or Red or, or like Skyrim or, yeah, or sure. Skyrim. You know what I mean? But I think it's it's a good, fun game. And for a Watch Dogs game, because I like the first Watch Dogs enough i was like ah this was fun to play but then i moved on to something else yeah i think this i think they're improving sure i'll say that right i like i didn't think i would like the recruiting system as much but the way i'm playing it on the on the permadeath mode having certain people with certain skill sets and then just a row of fodder Uh you know what i mean i kind of like that like all right this mission is going to be tough send that guy in first so we can (laughs) learn so we can learn from his mistakes yeah we can learn from his death (laughs) yeah exactly right i like and that that actually i find that Morbid, but fun. <laughs> I get it. Uh, I mean, Sometimes so, morbidity is fun. Um, and they, like I said, it's it's not an open world like Grand Theft Auto and Witcher in the fact that the world feels super alive, but they do things that is actually kind of funny. Like some of the conversations I hear walking down the street are funny. I was just walking, and there was just a car crash. It just happened. <laughs> I was like, what is going on, right? And there was just this big car You're crash. You're like standing around yeah. watching. Go recruit yeah. them. They'll be great fodder. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah the, the getaway driver. <laughs> but no, it's uh, so far, it, it's good. Right. Cool. I, I give it a solid... B minus. Solid B minus coming from the Jordan yeah. Jordan the men. So very nice. Uh, Chief Work in chat does say I have finished the main campaign. He says I think it was fantastic and it still has plenty to do after. So there you go, guys. That is yeah. Watchdog Watchdogs Legion. I'm so excited for Valhalla. I cannot wait. Speaking of Ubisoft games, but you know, I'm I'm really interested to see what Valhalla does with its open world. Because like I said, Watchdogs it, it feels it feels like a Ubisoft game. But they have 
tweaked some things to make it feel yeah. a little bit more fresh. I'm yeah. really curious what Valhalla does. It's very exciting. That brings us to the last segment of our show. This is the segment where we take your questions. To submit a question, you can do so each and every single week over on YouTube, youtube.com forward slash X1 Bros. Hit the community tab and submit your question. Uh, anyone that's a member, you can join and submit a question. Andrew Jacobs writes in and says, Hi, bros. Love the show and appreciate all you do to bring more positivity to the gaming community. Thank you very much. I'm curious, what will be the absolute first thing you do when you power on your Xbox Series X? Play around with the UI, power up your first game, or load 100 apps into Quick Resume. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> That's funny. Andrew wants to know, first thing. Oh, I'm changing, very first thing. I'm changing my background. I'm totally customizing everything. I want it, I want it to be like... Oh, yeah, mm. and they've got those moving backgrounds. It's going to mm. be beautiful. That's what I want. Just I'm, I'm very particular. <laughs> Jordan, how about you? I'm probably going to play Planet Coaster. <laughs> I'm, you guys don't understand how excited I am that that game is finally coming to the console. Uh, first thing, I'm diving, I'm diving in. I'm, I'm, I'll am i be honest. I'm diving in settings and everything like that, seeing what's See, tweakable, I'll, what's not tweakable. I'll do that later. Oh, no, that's I'm great. In. We have one person messing with the UI, one person playing games, and one person <laughs> doing settings. Settings. I mean, that's... Uh, that's hey, well, we're all, all of us together. We're well, one well-rounded one individual. One well-rounded <laughs> individual. That's absolutely... Mm -hmm. Andrew Jacobs, great question. Thank you very much for writing in. Next question comes from Chris BD. He says... Are any of you guys are any of you going to miss the Xbox TV functions, especially with the introduction of Quick Resume? He says, I understand why the function is going, but it would have been great to quickly jump between TV and games. Yeah. I actually have not been using the TV function for TV. I have been using the TV function or the one guide. I'll call it the one guide function for streaming. So I have like my Nintendo Switch in through there or a PlayStation in through there, and I play those games through the Xbox, and that way you don't have to have different setups for your stream, right? It's one yeah. HDMI out of your Xbox into your capture card. Yep. So that's where I'm going to miss it the, the most. Pass through, yeah. Yeah, the pass that pass through feature with the one guide. But yeah, the TV. If you use it as your media console, the TV section was great. Do, do either of you utilize the TV? No, I don't watch that. TV. I yeah. think we tried it out just to see how it worked, but I never. You used never really it. got into yeah. it. Yeah, the one guide I really liked though, and that's that's what I'll miss the most. Uh, great question. Thank you very much for writing in, Chris. Brian F. writes in and says, As an Apple TV Plus subscriber, I'm looking forward to seeing it come onto the Xbox soon. That's right. It was announced this week that oh, Apple TV cool. is coming to the Xbox. That said, are there any particularly non-gaming apps you really enjoy using on the Xbox or any that you would like to see come to Xbox? Great question, Brian F. Uh, Jordan Demand. I know this one's kind of pointless okay. because I guess you can just get around. But no, nah, you know, it's not pointless. This is what I want. Okay. I would like okay. to see the Audible app. Okay. So yeah. I could like, cause you know how they have the Spotify yeah. app, Amen. right? Amen. I agree I mean, with you 100%. Technically, so you I, I, know I, can just, I know I can just play it on my phone and flip my phone upside down. Yeah. And just do it. But I mean, I think that'd be fun, especially when you're grinding. When that, you're grinding. For an, yeah. For when you're drill, driving around yeah. the countryside yeah. in uh, Forza. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Listen Doing, to the audiobooks. I yeah. love that one. The Audible app. And yeah. I listen to that a lot. I, I think uh, that's solid, Jordan. Yeah. I think that'd be good. I, he's got my vote. Yeah. Can you imagine playing Planet Coaster while listening to your favorite audiobook? No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even imagine playing Planet Coaster. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't know of an uh, app that like I would use as a must-have. Discord, maybe if they could, if they could figure out a way to implement Discord usable on a console, would be really interesting. They concept, what they I should think. do is because you know they probably have tons of them in a warehouse somewhere that because you know not everybody bought them. Yeah, but they should. They should. Come out with those keypads that used to connect to the controller. Oh yeah, you know, that's right. I mean, they should just they put should, those in the box. In a warehouse somewhere, because <laughs> nobody had them. Because nobody bought them. They were like sixty-five bucks, right? Well, yeah. I bought one, and I think like two other guys in line bought one, and that was it. You know what I mean? <laughs> that is hilarious. Uh, no, I think like a Discord, if you could have that implemented, yeah. and somehow, like if someone adds you, it like maybe just pop, fades in. Well, see, and that's where the, out, the keyboard really cool. would come in handy because you just do a quick little chat. What a, yeah, what about like a Windows G button like on the PC? Yeah, where that there's pulls an overlay. Up just an overlay dashboard of stuff you can customize. That'd be cool. That would show your processor power, your <laughs> yeah. IP, your NAT. Temperature. Yeah. Temperature just for the power users that want to know, Wunk. okay, Jordan's right there. He's online. He's playing this. But then I can see all my specs and stuff. That yeah. Everything's running optimally. No, actually, Whoop, back in the game. you're right. Maybe the, that could be the center button that's new on the share the, button. The Windows G is actually a very useful Super tool useful. to have. Yeah. 
uh, not just for your friends, but like all those statistics. It's fantastic. Yeah, so. super. Making they sure should add an alt tab as well. <laughs> yeah, alt tab. yeah, just move, go to move, go uh, like <laughs> a control alt delete. Yeah, control alt. Well, now that we have like multiple <laughs> games running at the same yeah. time, yeah, you could you gotta be yeah. able to see what yeah. you need to close down. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna be that test manager. Tony Hawk <laughs> doing a kickflip and then switch over, score goal and FIFA, <laughs> yeah. switch over, touchdown and yeah. Madden, switch back over. Uh, all lo- tab, all lo- tab. Loyal Doyle in chat says Jordan's fantasy is coming to light. Planet coaster, audible candles, and a silk robe <laughs> with a glass of wine. Uh, <laughs> uh, that is funny. true. That that's is true. true. Uh, and a nice walk on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, that's what he looks for uh, in a console. Brian, thank you very much for the question. That's a good question. Uh, thank you for writing in. Ghost Star writes in and says, Hey, lads, I need some help making a decision. Currently, I'm at my desk in my office area on an LG 49-inch 4K HDR TV on my Xbox One X. Wow. He says, my Series, yes. my series X comes next week, and I've also uh, recently upgraded my living room TV to a Philips OLED 55 4K with fancy lights around Dude, it. this guy is living the life. Dude, yeah. go star. Yeah. I, let's swap lives real quick. <laughs> you're, my, you're my new hero. Dude. Uh. He wants to know. But do, are there LEDs Can't, behind hey, it? Yeah, that's, that's the right. Question. Can you imagine? I want to put LED... LED lights on my toilet. No, check this out. Imagine going underneath, in there, underneath, underneath, the underneath the, and it's just. You know they have those. Whoa, it's a light that they put in the bowl. Oh, you can and do it, that. And it turns on when you be so at night you don't have to turn on the bathroom light. Oh, no, 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 you no, can no, see no, the. I don't. I don't, I, I don't want glowing in the bowl. I no, want. Like, he around, wants like, to rave I want while atmosphere, he poos. Atmosphere. Yeah. Atmosphere. No, the LEDs behind the TV I think would be really cool. Oh yeah. Can you imagine? Playing Planet Coaster with LEDs <laughs> behind your TV. Again, <laughs> you, again. Here's, here's 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 Ghost Star's question though. <laughs> he says, "Now, do I swap out my One X with my Series X, or should I set? Uh, should I use my new OLED with the Series X? Depends, right? Wait, what is that? He say it's a Philips OLED 55 inch. Does it support 2.1 HDMI? Well, is that's it, the big question. Well, I mean. It might. I would assume. It might. It, it's at least 2.0, which is 4K 60. Yeah, so you got 4K 60. 2.1 is for 4K But if you're up, But your other TV might is pro- can pro- is no, probably no, sorry, 4K 60 as well. So if it doesn't have a 2.1, I wouldn't worry about switching. The one I would choose would be the one that has the lowest latency with the, the millisecond go, delay. There you go. Right? There you go. So, and I would, I would think that it would be the LG because OLED... From what I've read, is a l- there they have just a little bit of hangups okay. as far as the the delay sure. between the box and the and the eye holes. There you go. Great question, Ghost Star. Again, we're completely jealous of your setup there, but yeah, that's awesome. Wait and it's gotten me thinking. Now I want LEDs flamboyantly spread around my toilet area. Yeah. LEDs Although he have really he doesn't have his for the record. He doesn't have his in his toilet. That's just what I want. He has no, I know, TV, but yeah. you got me thinking, dude. Is, wouldn't that be awesome? Yeah, with a bidet, and you're like, ah, oh, yeah. Let's oh, look at yeah. It. And it's like a nice blue, <laughs> like a blue in there have, going on. Have like a nice mist. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fog machine. Get a fog machine, machine in there, in too. There. Yeah. Some little laser Maybe lights sound, going Sounds of the rainforest plane. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we know we how to party. Well, then you can have like the Star Wars pack. And it have it nice and smoky, and then you're here, choo, choo, and then get one of those, a, get one of those star machines that like Ewok throw like, yeah. stars. The moon of those. Endor. When you, yeah. the when, sounds of Endor. When you flush the toilet, it can be the carbonite sound that, <laughs> you know what I mean? That, <laughs> yeah. And then <laughs> you ain't gonna get one of those. I can guarantee yeah, that. that. It'd be cool Guido. if you could, It'd be cool if you could set it up. Nubian. Where man. where when you go in <laughs> and uh, you go in, you flip on the light. It's a normal. It's a normal. And then yeah. you sit down on the toilet, right? And the the gradually, like it's everything's on a gradual setting. So like, someone comes in, it gradually fog comes in in your fog machine. The lights dim, <laughs> the LEDs turn on, per, sounds come. Per person, you know how you get in a car that remembers who you are, yeah, and like yeah. whether it's your yeah, wife or you, yeah. and it like it's like the Mercedes C class <laughs> yeah. of of, so of bathroom. Per person, you can customize it to yeah. however you then, want. Then then so like just picture this: like you're in there, you've been in there for ten minutes. It would keep, it would keep. People moving in and out of your bathroom really fast. <laughs> like fog. You're just filled with fog, like nature sounds, lights going like on, it. like LED lights on your bathroom. And then you flush the toilet. Everything vanishes. <laughs> and normal lights on. <laughs> yeah. Just sucks it all away. <laughs> uh, and have a thank you for flying. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Please remember uh, to wash your hands. <laughs> and, and watch your step on back. the way out. We hope you enjoyed your time here. <laughs> <laughs> be hilarious. Uh, oh, man. 
Dude. That's Skynet next level. That is next level. Is, when when I'm a billionaire and I have like my own giant office building or whatever mall, that's how all my bathrooms are gonna be. Next level. <laughs> next level bathrooms. Yeah. Well, what was the question of anyway? Uh, there oh, was yeah. no question. Oh, that was, that the, was just yeah. us talking. Uh, uh, yeah. Ghost star though, that was a great question. Quick trigger writes in and says, What's up, fellas? Quick trigger here. Why does Microsoft have such confusing console names? The original Xbox and then the Xbox One were okay. But when they gave us the one S and the one X, and now we have the Series X and Series S. Why can't we get awesome names like Xbox Sunfire or Xbox yeah. Skylark or Xbox Awesome Pants? Yeah. That's a good question. Well, I, I will say this. I mean, Sony's naming is just it's on par. It's just one, two, three, four, five. You and it's I mean? a par five right now. Yeah. I mean it's 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 you know what you're uh, you know what you're getting, right? Um Well let's be real. Microsoft as a company has never been great with this. Ever. I well, mean, remember when they skipped Vista? Windows 9? Windows Vista? Well, well, you had like the professional edition. You had the corporate edition. Yeah. You had like Enterprise. The, the Enterprise. And yeah. then you had the edition where you couldn't even change your desktop background. And so everyone would upgrade just so they could change your desktop. They finally, they finally figured it out. But I mean, like, they have multiple versions for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. I think it's just a Microsoft thing yeah. to do. It's true. Well, didn't they skip? Company culture. Well, I just remember. Do you remember that keynote? The, like they skipped when they were announcing Windows 10. They were, they like skipped nine. And yeah, because you I, had eight. That's right. Yeah, there was Windows seven, eight and 8.1. 8. And then they skipped. They, they, were, they were explaining why. Remember? And they were like, oh, yeah, we skipped nine because of this reason. And we didn't call it Windows one because we already had that, you know, and now well, it's Windows, Windows 10. 10. And it was just I think. Why can't it just be Windows? I think one, honestly what they do. And this is no disrespect because, I, you know, hey, it works. Right. No I think they have a company wide like, hey, we're coming out with a new product. Everybody write down your favorite name. <laughs> and they literally just pull it from the thing. You know, what It's I mean? a little lockbox like a company. You know, suggestions yeah. box. <laughs> you know how like when a when a when a new school comes into town, they let the community vote. I really think it's something similar to that. Right. Well, they I let t- the let the elementary kids vote <laughs> yeah, on the next. Yeah, the I, I think. And then they, uh, they have a big. Uh, it looks like it's the series. Oh, let's get a letter <laughs> yeah. X. And then one guy in the very back goes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just all by himself. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Uh, no, because I, because I actually like, I like Xbox, and then I like Xbox 360. I actually think Xbox 360 is like, to be honest, it's one, a of the, solid one, of the, one of the best yeah, names. A solid name. But where do you go from there? Like Xbox 720. That doesn't make no, any no, sense, no, that's right? Stupid. I think once you didn't name it two, I Xbox think two go, or whatever. I think you go titles though, like. Xbox Elite. Also. Xbox Elite. Xbox right? also. <laughs> just go just go adjectives and verbs. Xbox Elite. Xbox Go. Yeah. Xbox Run. Xbox Speed. <laughs> Dude, you get the new Xbox Speed? Why not name it Xbox <laughs> Velocity? Right? Oh, yeah. oh, Velocity. How about the Scorpio? Yeah, just, yeah, exactly. Yeah, why, why not just keep Scorpio? your code names? The code names are cooler <laughs> than the actual names. Yeah. <laughs> Scorpio, this one was Lockhart. Scarlet, right? Yeah, Scarlet? Lockhart. That's you got Scarlet's Lockhart a cool yet? Name. Yeah. yeah. You got did, Lockhart. Did you pick yet? up the Xbox Lockhart? Yes, I did. <laughs> or you could be like Android and just name it after your favorite candy Co- cookie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kit Kat. Well, what is what is uh, what is i what does iOS do? IOS cats? Is just don't numbers. they do cats like yeah. iOS Lion, right? Oh, Snow yeah. Leopard, right? Yeah, Didn't they do Snow cats? Well, that's yeah. yeah, the OS. Yeah. yeah. Oh man. <laughs> Kit Kat. <laughs> Xbox. The Xbox. <laughs> Xbox Snickers. <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine the Xbox the, steak sandwich? No, can you imagine the Philly ads? Philly cheese steak. Philly cheese steak. Can you imagine sandwich. the ads? Like the ads you could do for the Xbox Kit Kat? It would be like the Switch where they always go click. You know? Oh, <laughs> that's right. Click. Right? click. You can go. Well, you can click. make something cool like you want one Xbox now have two, right? You know, and you're like cracking. I'm glad over. we're not in charge of this. Oh man, but you had like the Twix, the left and the right. The left one would be like the the S. You yeah. know, the three hundred dollar. The right one, you know, they do their. Oh yeah. Uh, I mean, this is great. We could. Snow cone. Great question, Quick Trigger. Thank you very much. What was for, the question? Writing in. Just, well, uh, the names, right? Just why can't they name it something like? Oh yeah, and really, it's if, Microsoft. That's if, our answer. Yeah. Yeah. If that's the way they do it, just pulling it out of the bowl. I mean, you got to respect that. I actually think that's a pretty cool name. <laughs> way to do it. <laughs> yeah, <that's>, yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine? Like cool he opens it up. It. Oh come on, who who did this? They like <laughs> throw it out. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're not doing that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Find out who did this. Yeah. They like look at a certain guy. Like yeah. that was Jim. <laughs> and he's like he's like laughing. People are high fiving him. <laughs> yes, we got him again. <laughs> oh, uh, the last question comes from Rob. Rocket 4. Rocket 4 writes in and says, Hey guys, question about streaming. As streamers yourselves, how do you see the overall state and health of the streaming industry right now? And as a follow-up question to that, given your views, would you recommend to a friend or family member to become a streamer 
Would love to hear your thoughts. Cheers from Atlanta. Let's start with the spicy. Spicy. There's kind of a lot of questions wrapped into that, but uh, what do you think? State of the streaming industry right now. Um, what are your thoughts on it? I mean, that uh, the state of the industry right now is a really loaded question. Some things are good. Most things, in my opinion, are bad. <laughs> um, I think what's good is moves have been made to other players besides Twitch that has been starting to expand it a little bit because um, I'm actually not a fan of Twitch at all, how their company is and how they treat their affiliates and how they treat their partners and how things are run over there. Um, I, I actually haven't watched a Twitch stream since April. Wow. I yeah, think. Wow. Good for you. Um, the nice thing about... Being able to, I still want to support the streamers though, right? Sure. The nice thing about the majority of the streamers that I used to watch on Twitch is they all have evergreen content over on YouTube. So that's where you are. So that's where I go to give them views and to enjoy the content which they, they have there. Um, otherwise, I would have no choice but to watch them because I really enjoy the, a lot of the streamers out there. But I am not a fan of that. And I think that. A company like that being so bold and so on top um, is unhealthy for an industry, right? Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So the fact that there's been moves like, we'll say, Dr. Disrespect uh, getting his whole ordeal, m whether you like him or not, but having a big player move over to YouTube um, has strengthened YouTube's side of streaming quite a bit, right? So I think diversity in where a, a non-monopolistic streaming uh, universe is, I think, where I would like to see, what, see things what, be. What turned you off on Twitch altogether? I remember we talked it. The, so the last, many the reasons. last drop for you, I think, was the amount of ads that you were getting. Correct. That was yeah. There's there's a lot. I mean, the, some of the decisions the company has made. Uh, the Doctor Disrespect move was one of the big ones that was just like over the top. They just lack of transparency. <sighs> I mean, whether you like him or not, they 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 hated that guy, and they wanted to screw him over, and they did. And I disagree with that completely. Sure, sure. I mm -hmm. disagree with how they did it, how they did, who they got involved to do it, and I know I don't know a lot, and nobody knows a lot of what's going on. There's, there's I'm sure there's a lot of litigation going on, a lot of legal things, mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. he, he signed a contract. There's a lot of money involved. Rumor was, r the going theory anyways, because nobody knows, was that once Mixer went away, they wanted out from underneath his contract. Yeah, and I've seen Dr. Disrespect himself say, um, yeah. imagine if you were... Uh, let's see, he was talking to a soldier who was like a gunnery sergeant or something, sure. right? And he was saying, imagine if the military, after you hit that rank, decided not to pay you anymore, so they just forced a retirement on you or, or fired you. Um, because that, you know, sure. you know, kind of thing. Yeah. That's who he was talking to. But that implies that it wasn't anything that he did, but it implies that it was because they didn't want to pay the contract that they gave him. And so... I mean, granted, m maybe things will come out uh, more than that, but that's the impl the implied reason that Twitch did that. Sure. Amongst other things, like I disagreed with that. I don't think you should just because you dislike a person have the power to make him not have a paycheck. Sure, mm -hmm. you know I disagree with that. Um, I also disagree with how they were doing the ads. They were showing ads every three minutes for thirty seconds each, three ads. Yeah, and um, well, and it was initial ads too. So let's say I'm watching a streamer that I really like, um, like I'm watching Lyric for example. I think sure. he's an awesome streamer, or Summit One G for example. I think he's an awesome streamer. Let's say you're watching there, and they're playing together in a game, and you want to quickly go, oh, from this perspective, I think it would be awesome to see. And you flip over to go watch him. You have a minute and a half worth of ads. So you and you miss it. You it's miss it's it. in real time. Uh, I hate that. I hate that. I think you should be able to control it a little bit more and not have it every three minutes. I yeah. think the ads are wrong. I think the company... I have more things to say, but just out of respect for everyone listening, I won't say it because I don't want to um, offend or you know stuff like that. Um, I think they're just not a good company. 
And I think they have too much power as far as how streaming is well, right d- now. It, f- it does feel like so we're and we've said this before. I think with within streaming, we're at the beginning, right? Like we're, I feel like we're like 1930s Hollywood before Hollywood became Hollywood, right? Like before they figured out the movie game, it was just very experimental. That's what it feels like, especially like with Twitch. Uh, it feels like they're always experimenting with stuff, what works, what doesn't work. Even with YouTube, with YouTube streaming, um, which we really enjoy. That's where we stream live. Yeah. It's it's experimental, even on their side. There's lots of features that are in beta that aren't out. So it's, it's really interesting to see how it evolves. I think when it comes to I, – I want to address I – th- I think where the state of it is overall, though, I think we're only going to see it evolve from here. Like, sure. I don't think streaming is going anywhere, obviously. Oh, it's not. It's the future yeah. of how people are going to absorb their entertainment. Exactly. I mean, even even like the – when you see – tweets on a tv broadcast you know they're bringing up tweets yeah that's their attempt at bringing in a live chat or a live viewable a audience one-to-one connection to interact while you're watching yeah. right no, absolutely. this automatically exists because chat is on your mm-hmm. entertainment you know yeah. view that you're watching at the time yeah right? i do i do want to address the question though would you recommend to a friend family member to become a streamer i think that there's a couple of places sure. uh to go with that i would I would say it depends. It depends on how they're going to do it. Uh, first of all, I would I, I would suggest that if they are planning to try to attempt to do it full time, that they really do their research and learn how to grow a stream. A lot of people are under the impression that if you build it, they will come, and it's just not even close to the reality. So there's a lot of research out there. There's a lot of um, advice and there's some really good people with good advice. Um, the bad advice that you get from streamers, especially from big streamers, mostly is just stream more and make sure you're having fun. And that's completely incorrect advice. In fact, um, some of the best advice you'll get from people who know what they're doing, who have had to grow from ground zero up is probably when you're first starting out, you don't need to stream more. You probably need to stream less until you grow a big enough audience elsewhere to bring over to your stream. Right. Uh, but number two, if they are going for it full time, I would have them do the research. I basically have I basically am a full time streamer, basically, right? And it's not as romantic as one would think. It messes with you um from a mental health perspective, it messes you with you. It's stressful. It's very stressful. Imagine this. Like think about how unhealthy social media is, right? The reason that social media is both addictive and, un- and unhealthy is that it gives you this dopamine kick instantly to your to your brain right like in your instant like oh look how many likes i got look how many shares i got look everybody really likes this right streaming when you're doing it for hours and hours and hours a day is that experience on steroids because you don't just put something out there into the ether and then you check back in a few hours and all right look how many likes i got it's immediately when you start streaming, you can see, okay, I've got 10 people in chat. Yesterday I had 20 people. Why is there not 40 people in here? You know, oh, look, I just got more people. Oh, and it's this very stressful, especially if you're trying to do it full time and you have to make money or maybe you're doing it for a company and your views count. Uh, That's something behind. I'll give you an example. Go watch Ninja. Ninja, in my opinion, is falling apart. He looks like he's on drugs of some of some sort. He looks like he's he looks exhausted, he's, tired. He yeah. l- he is clearly not having fun. That if you're not healthy and balanced in your life, streaming, I think, can really throw you through the loops. Um, I feel like I'm someone that's pretty healthy and balanced, and doing it for a job threw me through a loop. Right? Like you gotta you gotta have a balanced life. Just because you're alone in a room, and even though you're interacting with people. It's still isol. It's weirdly isolating, right? So, anyways, th- I would just be aware of those, and then I think if anybody wants to do it, they should go for it. I, that's my philosophy with life and sure. anything. If you feel like this is for you and you'd really like to give it a shot, go for it, man. Go, go for it. Do it smart. Be balanced. Be aware. Do your research, uh, and go for it. Well, and that's the same with like any profession that you want to go into. Do your research. Learn how to do it. Learn what's what works, what doesn't. If you, yeah, if you listen, like you said, to those guys that just say, ah, just start streaming more. Yeah, well, see, it, because there's two types of people, and you you get into this with YouTube uh, as well, or even podcasting. There are people who got big because they rode the wave of Twitch getting big, right? So like. It's really first mover advantage. We talk about that sure. a lot, right? Like, so first mover advantage. So I was in on Justin TV. I was streaming. I was one of a hundred streamers, and Twitch blew up. And since I was there, I blew up too. 
those people, those guys don't know how to grow an audience, right? Growing an audience. And, and in fact, you can go on YouTube and watch. Uh, everybody's probably seen it, but they'll go through like from 2000 to 2010. What are the what were the top movies of the time? Right. Gross. Yeah. And it, and it Data shows the is graph beautiful. chart. That is beautiful. That's it. Yeah. Look up the Twitch one and you can see who the top streamers are. And you can see just in the top 20. Look at throughout, I don't know, the last 10 years. I don't know how long streaming has been, been around, but let's say it's about 10 years, right? Look at how many people shift between those numbers, and it's very few, if any, right? Like from the top 20, it's hard to break into the top 20. It's hard to move. Um, we experienced it with Mixer. We kind of rode the Mixer wave when we were first in, just being completely honest. Uh, when we started on Mixer, we were 500th, right? Which Mixer was brand new. We were ranked 500th. Uh, we saw a lot of growth, uh, particularly like around when Ninja came in, everybody kind of popped up because he brought over this brand new audience. We were gaining thousands of new subscribers on Mixer uh, a week at one point, and we never moved up or down from that 500 spot. We would move within like three spaces, right? Because it's just that hard. Uh, that And that's just the nature of streaming. It's a grind and it's, or the unromantic side of streaming. The good side is it's fun. It is really mm -hmm. fun. Well, you can game and everything. Yeah. But it's, yeah, it really is a lot of mental, it's a lot of mental stress. Yeah, it's mental stress. And it's, it takes, uh, to do it well, like, when you're watching top streamers who are entertaining and good at what they do, they, they're they there because they make it look easy. It's not as easy as it looks. Yeah. I think so. I know. Anyways, that's just my opinion. But. That said... Do it. <laughs> do it if you feel like, uh, if you're passionate about it. Do it. Just jump in passion, and do it. Passion fuels everything. Passion can make you the best at the world at anything you do. That's so. why I got a bidet. Passion. And now I'm the best. Now I'm the best. <laughs> and that's why we're going to have a toilet Fog filled <laughs> with LEDs everywhere yeah. and an atmosphere to relax. That's a really mm. interesting question. If you guys ever want to have a more in-depth discussion, come stop by our streams. We could talk about it more in-depth there, but... But there you go. That does us, guys. Our next, this is our last podcast on the Xbox One. Oh, that's right. Next time we next time talk we'll to be you, on the this, people. The Series X, baby. We will the be. Series S. Yeah. Well, maybe if mine comes. Well, I'll, I'll be Jordan there. will have one. Yeah. Watch we it know that come. for sure. Watch it get like. I've watch had the, I've watch had this yours is messed up, but we can well, ours. Well, <laughs> it's going to get damaged in transit. Every, every <laughs> Xbox I've had this generation minus the S. The S is the only one that worked properly for me, and it's still working solid today. Uh, I've had to return for warranty reasons. <laughs> oh, man. the original Xbox I had to warranty, and then my score, then the S was perfect. The Scorpio I had to warranty. Um, it was intense. Yeah. yeah, yeah so we'll ready, see. Ready no, I. Stuff. What I'm afraid of is. Oh, sorry. No, I was, yeah, I was going just gonna go. say what I'm afraid of is I actually ordered a package from Amazon two weeks ago, and the day before they said it would get here, they sent me an email and said damage in transit reorder. Oh, <laughs> and I was like, are you no. kidding me? I've yet to have. So that I'm waiting for that to happen. Because yeah. that would suck. Oh. Well, thank you very much, everybody. We appreciate it. It'll pop up here for thank you. Thank you. You got a good 30 seconds, though. Thank so. you for being here. This is the next generation. This is the podcast of the next generation. This next song generation. is next generation song. It's a brand new outro coming at you from the X1 Bros. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget, come join us over on YouTube. YouTube.com forward slash X1 Bros. We'll see you guys next week. Good luck, everybody. Bye-bye.